Hello guys and welcome to the third and most exciting one of the Win32 C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, our main goal is to create a window. And whenever you are going to create a window, you have to do a specific list of tasks. I mean, more specific, there are three things that you have to do. The first thing is that you have to create a window class. A window class means that mm, how the window will look or the uh, what buttons will the window hold or what will be the size of the window where the window will show and what will be the procedures that the window will use and so on and so forth then the second thing is that we have to give a handle to our window and create the real window it means that we are making a handle to a window and assigning a window to it and the third part and the most important part is the window message procedure that means whenever your window is open your window is expecting some user input from you whether it might be a mouse click or a keyboard input or anything else and as well as according to your inputs the window is changing itself that means the window is using a procedure and that procedure is going to a loop and these three things all together make your window so with a, without further introduction let's jump into creating a window so first let's include our window 0 file now let's create our main function and now as our window main, main function is our integer so let's return the integer and we will hold the integer inside a variable called status so let's have a variable called status and let's make it equal to 0 and return the status that's it a win win function is ready to use and now we will create a window class so to create a window class we simply define our window class variable wnd class x and i will call it wc stands for window class and our window class will have the extra size to zero for now and our window class will have the size of our window class now I am using WND class EX but there is also WND class but EX is a more functional window class so we are going to use EX for this purpose now our window class will have a background color of window frame and our window class will have a cursor so load cursor and it will take the instance of your program that's age instance and a cursor name now the cursors are generally defined as IDC for ID of a cursor we will come to IDs later for now we, you have to know that load cursor is a function that loads cursors and it has two parameters first is the handle to the instance of the program and the second is the id of the cursor for now i will have the arrow cursor as same our window will have a icon h icon and let's and it's just like same but instead of id c we use id i stands for ID of icon and it will be an application next a window class will have a small icon like small and it will be and here we pass a null pointer and then the ID of application next a window class will have a instance and this will be our instance next our window class will have a window function procedure and for now let's leave it as a 
Null pointer. Next, our window class will have a class name. Now, I would like to create a class name here as a global variable. So, and here, class name will be class name. And next, our window class will have a menu for now the menu will be a null pointer we don't have any menu and uh, for the style let's say cs the redraw and cs h redraw basically so that our window will be able to redraw itself whenever it's horizontally or vertically dragged from the borders now you must make sure that there are these all these things defined if you are using a windows 10 because if anything is missing then it will not work properly and you just can go through this menu to check whether any any of these things are not listed and one other thing that I must tell you is that window class is not actually a C++ class but it's rather a struct, a C struct that holds the information to create a window, to describe a window. Uh, so now we will have to register our window class. So if if we register class ex on, and this will get a pointer to our window class. So we will pass by reference and if our class is registered then we will have a handle to a window and we define a handle to a window by hwnd my window and let's make it a window by calling create window create window ex and the first thing let's call it window style ex client edge you don't have to know these things for now but as you go on this tutorial you will understand whatever these defined variables mean the next thing is our class name and we will pass our class name that is class name the third thing and by this class name our window is actually going to understand that this struct is going to describe how our window will look and for the third parameter we are going to give our window a name let's call it my window now uh, let's make it a little more visible and now the how our window will look we define the window style by ws overlapped window and next where the x integer of the starting point of our window for this application you can take it as 00, zero but we will use client window use default and this will assign a default value to our window and next is the y of y value and this will be the same I mean they use default now the size of our window the width of our window and we will set this as client in the use default and for the height we will use the same now it comes whether our window has a parent window or our window is a part of another window it's not true so we will pass in a null pointer and the next thing that comes is whether our window has a menu or not and it doesn't have any menu so it's another null pointer next is the instance of our window and our instance is h instance and next thing is the album and we can pass null pointer for this and that's it our window is created now as a window is created our second task is completed Third, now it comes to the third part what's the third part the third part is to describe the windows message procedure for that we will have a message variable call it msg 
key and while our window is getting the message so while get message and the first parameter is our a pointer as to our message we will pass message by reference sorry the second thing is the handle to our window that's will pass this is no doesn't matter because this handle is up to the parent window and we don't have any parent window and for the next two Signed in digital flags we pass as a zero and when this message is above than zero that means it's a positive integer means that our window is working fine and there is no error and when there is no error what we will do is we will translate our messages and we will dispatch our messages now I forgot to do one thing is that after creating the window I forgot to tell the window that the window should show itself so we we'll just add another function that show window and it will have our window is my window and our and CMD so the integer that we find there in our wingman and the second thing is we have to tell the window to update itself so update window and we will pass my window and now at this point our work is successful so our status will be message dot and that's it the one thing that we missed so that our window didn't work is a parameter here that is window class dot cv wnd extra and you have to set this to zero to have our windows message procedure we first have to define our windows message procedure and we can call it it as l, l result all back and you can give the variable whatever name you like for mine for mine, I will use WNDPROC, stands for Windows Procedure, and it will have four parameters. The first thing is the window, and it will do a window. The second thing as is a integer, unsigned integer, that will handle your message, and I will call it as message. Third thing is and WNL just stands for word and long, and param is just an integer, it's guaranteed to be a 32 bit integer in case of Win32 applications, and now we will switch our message so the first message that a window might have is the close message so wm close and in this message we will say that destroy our window And the handle to the window that is sorry, case break. And the next thing is when the how the window will be destroyed, and it will be WM destroy. Our window will be destroyed and we will just close our window so we use a function called post quit message and as a return value we will pass a zero at the end at the end we will pass uh, the L result that is our default 
window procedure that we haven't done anything we haven't clicked this or we have to click that or whatever now we will add a window procedure to our window procedure class and that's it now let's try to run our window and it's showing an error that must return a value yes and we have to return this Studio. and now as you can see we have our own very first window but first let's change the size of our window I want this to be uh, 640 by 480 and uh, I will call our window as hello window And one thing more I can do is change this color. Let's see this color window. And now, if you run this program, you will see the background color has been changed, and it's writing "Hello Window" here. And uh, here are these three buttons. Now, you can do stuff like this. You can go to the definition and see what the other colors available for your window. And if, as you can see, all these defined, all these defined things are actually nothing but integer. So you can just define an integer, and it will give your window a color, just like that. And another thing is that you can change the cursor, like IDC. change the icon of your application like IDC a small icon of course and the above one this one is going to be changing the main icon and this one is going to be a small icon or ID error and as you can see our window icon is now error and it's just working perfectly now another thing you can do is that you can use different window styles for example window style sys window and what this will do is our window will only have a cross icon and nothing else you cannot minimize your window or you cannot resize your window so you can try different things with your window and next time we will try to put something inside our window if you like this window please hit the like button and uh, you can do other things like let's pass here 30 and let's see what happens and wow our window has a new color so that's it for today thanks for watching